Hey guys, Captain CA here with Flats Class YouTube, and I'm just returning from a day out on the water with clients, and it was raining. We had a front approach today, about 60% chance of rain, and we had to cover some water because there was absolutely zero visibility with how dark it was and how much rain there was. Uh, so we fished a lot of what I would call search baits, but the one that was probably the most effective, you know, we threw mirrodines, we threw top waters like this one, like the 5M slurp baits trying to get noticed. We threw some bigger soft baits like the darters. We also threw the five inch jerk sheds. But what really rang through, if you will, and produced the absolute best was the spoon. That's right, the simple spoon. The one that everyone overlooks, but it produced the greatest number of redfish for us today. Uh, and, and for me, it's a staple while I'm fishing with clients. I almost always have one tied on. And for bang for buck covering water, you're gonna find out in just a second why I prefer them. Well, I go get the rod set up, teach you about leader length, show you how to get a swivel on there and whatnot. Go check out some of this footage from this morning's action. Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. Two pictures? Yeah. For posterity. He got had to get even with that last one. But that's a good one too. I don't have a net that I haven't folded up. You're gonna have to reel to the water to get control of them. Yeah, let's get a little, let's recover a little more. Yeah. So we're having the pulling motor out of the water. Yeah, it helps a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. A lot of the redfish that we've been dealing with lately, that's, that's a good spoon size red there. That's probably gonna be 24, 25 inches long, maybe better. Well, the guys had a lot of fun today in spite of that crappy weather. The weather was just really tough today. We didn't even know if we were gonna try and go or not. But I told them because this type of rain was in the in front of a, of a cold front, there likely wasn't gonna be any really bad thunderstorms. It was probably just gonna be drizzle to moderate rain showers in and out, uh, and then they'll probably dissipate as they move on shore. It's kind of the way it was all day long. But the worst thing that happened is we got pretty damp. <laughs> Still caught redfish though, and that was the target species today. We had a high outgoing tide, and we knew we were gonna be fishing a lot of shorelines and a lot of points where there was a lot of lime rock and oyster. And uh, again, the spoon is ideal for negotiating those types of area. So you'll like, you'll like those zones with this particular spoon. All right. What spoon is it? This is an Aquadream spoon. I do have a relationship with them. I don't try to hide those professional relationships I have with companies. But I'm here to teach you how to catch fish with a spoon and you use whichever makes you happy. So the gear we were using today, without me doing a bill dance here, uh, this is a Shimano Nasi. This is a 3000 size reel. You pick the one that works best for you. This is a seven foot GLF rod. This is a medium action rod. Now on this, this reel, I have it packed with 10 pound Power Pro. That's what I'm using. I'm using the Super Slick V2. And the leader length that I like to use for spoon fishing, uh, I tie it to the braid with a small knot there, which is hard to see, but that's the modified all right. I've done that here on uh, Flats Class YouTube before. And I only use two feet and I use 
30 pound, okay, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Now, why fluorocarbon? Well, fluorocarbon, you could use mono because this is more of a chase bait, okay? But I like the fluorocarbon because we're rolling these spoons fairly slow right now. And the idea uh, behind spoon fishing for me and my clients is to have them make a cast, goes out there. They're rolling it over the point. I tell them to roll it in a static motion, no twitching or hopping or anything, just a static motion where it's just swimming along. So it's just gonna go like this all through the water column. I want them to swim it slow enough where it'll bump the bottom every once in a while, bump the bottom, pull it through a weed so it snatches off a lead and leaves a little dust in the water. I want it to make contact with the bottom from time to time, but I want them to roll it in a, in a moderate pace. I don't want it to be too fast. It has to make contact every once in a while, whether it's going through the grass or going over the oyster itself. You will get hung time to time, but it works ideally for generating strikes when you do it that way, because the redfish might be hunting up on top of that rock or in that grass. He needs to hear something. He needs to hear that noise, which gets his head up and looking. You'll also notice that I tie, uh, on, put or place a swivel on the front of these spoons. Now, the spoon we use today that had the most luck was the Live Bait series from Aquadream. This happens to be the pilchard, the pilchard spoon. But those types of spoons, where it's kind of white, kind of silver, kind of white, kind of silver, going back and forth, do a really good job on these days where we have muted light and lots of rain and a little bit of breeze with those storms where it creates noise. So you're looking for something that has flash, has vibration, makes contact with the bottom. All of that makes fishing much more productive. All you need is two foot of that fluorocarbon. Why 30? A lot of guys are gonna say, so why 30 pound? For me, 30 pound fluorocarbon helps keep that spoon lower in the water column. It also gives me the opportunity to catch a snook because where we fish here on the nature coast, we don't only just catch redfish with spoons, we catch a lot of snook with spoons. So it's important to me to have that, well, I'm gonna say sense of security that if I do hit a big snook, I'm going to have a legit shot at landing. All right, I'm gonna send you back to the action and we'll wrap all of this back up as it starts to rain again outside back in the shop. That spoon is, 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 it's whacking them. We net this fish, maybe? Maybe, maybe. This, this one's not quite as big as that first good one, but it's still a respectable fish. Okay, well, I'm all dressed. It's respectable. Whoa. Man, you timed that perfectly. Got your rain suit on and that yeah. in one motion. <laughs> Spoon. I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like I just made it in in time because here comes the next round of storms in this front. Guys, if you're looking for a one tried and true method to catching fish in this type of weather, it's just what I showed you. Spoon fishing. Spoon fishing simply works. Every time it's simple and it's effective. That's all you need to know. If you like what you're learning here at Flats Class YouTube, guys, subscribe, share it with your fishing buddies. Give us the big thumbs up and hit that notification bell so the next time when Flats Class YouTube has a, a great fishing tip to share with you or some type of adventure, you're gonna get it first. All right, well, I guess I'll have to hang out here in the shop a little longer until I can run back to the main house. But until next time, Captain C.A. Richardson from Flats Class YouTube, signing off.